You are now outside the Bellway. I'm John Fredericks, and I am your blowtorch, your free speech in America, your oracle of the deplorables. Well, my favorite guest of all time is joining me now. He's batting a thousand. I wish the Astros had him batting cleanup. We'd win the World Series instead of uh, getting beat by Kansas City two out of three, going 22 innings straight without a run. Like, who does that in Major League Baseball? We do. Of course, we did win yesterday without Peter McCullough batting cleanup, but he's batting a thousand. And he's uh, joining us now, Dr. Peter McCullough. He is the founder of the McCullough Foundation. He's the one that started uh, the wellness company, which is uh, the only now doctoring that I do. Well, I've got my wellness kit. I got my emergency kit. I got my contagion kit. Uh, I've got the whole thing going. I got z pack ivermectin. I never get sick because as soon as I feel it coming on, bingo, I open up my contagion kit. I got z pack I got Ivermectin, I got it all, gets rid of it just like this, boom. Everybody else suffering, they're home for a week, they're all, oh, I'm so sick, me, I'm just going around like the Energizer Buddy, Bunny, because I've got my wellness company portfolio of doctoring medicine, right? Great thing. And he's batting a thousand, he did right on everything. Dr. McCullough, great to have you with us today. Thank you. Now, Dr. McCullough, the McCullough Foundation, uh, covered a, unco just released a fascinating new study that shows that ivermectin, particularly when used in concert with, I can't say this word, say it for me, menzo, menzo? How, do, how, how do I say that? Mebenazole, right. Mebenazole is showing promise in combating cancer. Can you elaborate? Is this real? You know, most cancer drugs have a single effect. Most chemotherapy drugs have a single effect. And uh, emerging data, mechanistic data, suggests that ivermectin, because it's an antiparasitic, antiviral, has multiple effects on the cell. And mebenazole, which is an ant also an antiparasitic, but these kind of multifunction drugs may have anti-neoplastic effects. And, you know, there are some natural products that uh, you know, have been derived over time. People understand Taxol, for instance, and uh, Vincristin, Vinblastin. These became established cancer drugs, but previously you know, they had other derivatives. Uh, so many are encouraged about the possibility of ivermectin and bembenazole in combination as uh, you know, having cancer treatment effects that potentially, you know, could be added on to everything that patients are doing right now. The wellness company, we offer it as a combination as a uh, anti-parasitic agent. Many are using it off-label for their, you know, for their malignancies. Well, listen, uh, you're trying different things, but how safe are drugs like ivermectin and like you just said, uh, menbenzodol? How safe are these for off-label? Well, they're far safer than conventional chemotherapy, like you know, adriamycin, which causes heart damage, um, the, uh, the various forms of, um, of uh, cisplatinum and carboplatinum cause neuropathy is permanent. Uh, these drugs, uh, ivermectin and bembenazole, have known you know, well-characterized safety profiles. Ivermectin is considered safer than Tylenol. So, you know, patients, doctors should know about them if patients decide to use them in a self-directed manner. But they have to, you know, understand that the safety here is is at a much better level than our conventional, you know, high-dose, high-toxic chemotherapy. You know, when you talked about uh, parasites earlier, uh, I used to be a racehorse trainer and ivermectin was a was a pretty common uh drug that we had for horses and it was you know to treat parasites and of course you took much bigger doses than we are but um mm -hmm. i utilize that like in in my barn there was a couple of things we had butte obviously we had butte ivermectin there were four or five things you always had on hand when you had that many race horses um but the uh the the this concept that it can cleanse our body of parasites i mean how, how concerned should we be with that and how does it work it really depends on what people do i think people at risk for parasites are those who 
you know, our outdoorsmen and women uh, camping, uh, preparing food in different, um, you know, unconventional ways at campgrounds, uh, traveling to underdeveloped countries. That's where the the risks are. So, you know, it, you know, each person is different. Uh, I think the average person in suburban America really doesn't have to uh, worry about parasitic diseases. But many of us travel. I think most people listening probably will travel overseas this year and depends on where one goes. It's nice that at the wellness company, we do offer uh, you know, a combined product that uh, once patients check in, there's a, a little check-in on how you're gonna use it, that this is available, it's very affordable, and it uses two of these drugs together, very effective. How do you buy that? Like, what is it? It comes in a combination product. So the ivermectin is fixed at 25 milligrams, and the benazole, uh is also in a fixed dose, and the supply is about 90 days. So this would be for prolonged parasitic infection. Um, there's various forms of uh, giardia and pinworms, hookworms, uh, scabies, other parasitic infections. But it's an ample supply, uh, and then patients check in and you know have to answer a few questions before it's prescribed for them. So ivermectin is proven to be very effective in a lot of different areas. Why? is big pharma, why is this constant war on ivermectin? What are they afraid of? I think big pharma and, and the regulatory agencies have really fallen behind uh, on this. And there's a degree of embarrassment now. I've used all the drugs, by the way, in COVID. So I've used hydroxychloroquine, ivermectin, uh, Paxlovid, molnupiravir, monoclonal antibodies. Out of all the drugs, oral ivermectin at a high dose, and someone your size, John, probably would take about 48 milligrams a day. I can tell you, it is the most rapidly acting and effective drug for acute COVID-19. And because our agencies and our medical institutions still won't admit that, they still won't recognize that we missed a tremendous opportunity to save lives during the pandemic. I think that's really behind this guilt-driven war on ivermectin. Are we ever going to get to the bottom of uh, COVID-19, these vaccines? Are we ever going to really get flush out what exactly went down uh, and a lot of these injuries now caused from these vaccines? Is there ever going to be an accountability for this? We see incremental capitulation. So last week, the White House changed a website. And now the White House finally, you know, after Trump, Biden, and now Trump again, finally admits the virus came out of the Wuhan Institute of Virology. So, I mean, this has been a slow walking capitulation. It's been incremental. Uh, they've dropped COVID vaccine mandates for the military, restored the military. Well, why did they drop them? Because the vaccines weren't safe or effective. The mandates, uh, it, you, you know, we're mandating a, a terrible product on our military. So I think this is being, um, in a sense, progressively revealed to Americans because it is a tremendous shock what's happened to the nation. Fortunately, very few people are taking any more vaccines. Well, listen, uh, the bottom line is if you want to be, if you want to take your well-being in your own hands and forget about big pharma, forget about waiting in lines at, at the dock in the box and all the nonsense you have to go through, best thing to do is go to the wellness company I mean, I've got the emergency kit. I've got several mm -hmm. of these contagion kit. Now I'm going to buy. Uh, I'm going to buy the, um, you know, the basically one that you just mentioned, which is this kind of the cleansing of parasites. Especially if you have a pet. If you have a pet that goes outside, like you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. my cat, whatever. I mean, you know, God knows what he's bringing back. I mean, you just you just need to take care of yourself in a better way. All you have to do is go to twc health slash Godzilla, twc.health slash Godzilla. Anything that they have their promo code Godzilla, 10% off, promo code Godzilla, 10% off. Dr. McCullough, for all the products that you, you have, we got about two minutes. If someone has limited income ability and you say, okay, here is the one thing that you can afford that you absolutely need, what would it be? I'd get a membership, John, at $49 a month at, you know, that middle level membership. It has free prescriptions, free, free generic prescriptions. The average person, 
you know, with uh, low thyroid, blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, uh, they keep going to the pharmacy paying all these, you know, generic prescription drug costs, which are going to go up with the tariffs. Get a wellness company membership, get deep discounts on the supplements. It's the best way to go financially. So if I pay forty nine ninety five a month, uh, then I'm going to get I'm going to get access to medications without cost prescriptions without costs is, is that what i've heard right right so if you're on a say blood pressure medicine cholesterol thyroid thyroid that would all be uh, entered in and it comes from our beaumont texas pharmacy i mean there's even free shipping it just comes free so at the higher level membership which is a 99 dollars a month that includes free supplements so that's really big many people are on mccullough protocol base spike detoxification with the ultimate spike detox uh, the long COVID bundle with uh, mind lift and elevated energy oh, and heart support. You want to, that's like the best deal out there. You want to check that out. Go to mm -hmm. twc.health slash Godzilla. It's all there. 49.95. Take control. twc.health slash Godzilla. Dr. Peter McCullough batting a thousand.